everybody, this is me, Olga K, and I'm covered in chemicals. Uh-oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Mooshville channel. So today we're gonna talk about all the bad stuff. So there's a lot of product on the market, lots of creams, lots of say they're organic and perfect and made from natural ingredients. But a lot of times uh, we don't look deeper to see what kind of bad stuff is in there. But I was reading this magazine and I saw all this like perfectly laid out all the bad labels of all the stuff that is on our in our skincare and everything so I thought I have to make a video about it and I hope you can get something out of this video even though I'm reading it off of the paper let's begin so in a lot of creams um, they add a lot of chemicals to preserve it to make it last longer and uh, to make it leather up or to make it penetrate your skin deeper or absorb faster so they add all these chemicals to help you to absorb all the good chemicals that are in the uh, you know in this product and then it just causes cancer everything causes cancer so we're gonna start with the first one and it's DLS and it stands for disodium lowerus sulfurcinate I can't even say it <laughs> and what it is it's a chemical salt and it's added um, so it penetrates your skin a lot deeper. The problem with that is anytime they add that ingredient into your skincare, it causes cancer. Eventually, if you use it long enough, it leads, it just helps your skin, uh, your uh, cancer cells grow. So we don't want that. So the next one is TEA and it's pronounced, not that I know, trethanolamin, trethanolamin. And what it is, is a chemical compound delivered from ammonia. What? That's just so bad. And it acts as a really foamy thing, like it helps your product to foam up and you feel like, ooh, it's so fun because it foams up so well. It also, it leads to cancer and irritates your skin and a lot of times you might be breaking out. So if you're breaking out from one of the products, see, maybe it has that in the product. The next one is parabens. Now, I feel like in 2013, 2012, everyone knows about parabens. So now we have all these products where it says paraben free and we're like yes let's buy all of it and then we still don't look into other ingredients because all the other ingredients are probably the rest the ingredients on this list so what they do they replace parabens with something else that is probably just as bad so you just have to look around but don't get too like crazy about it so parabens, almost 90% of skincare in America is using parabens. So if you buy skincare from France and Italy, it's actually a lot less and it's a lot healthier. So what it is is a chemical preservative, uh, so it prevents your cosmetics to go bad. So it can sit on the shelf uh, for a lot longer than it would have been if it didn't have parabens. So they tested lots of women with breast cancer and one ingredient that they found in their uh, breast tissue uh, when they did the biopsy was parabens. Just so you know, so watch out for those parabens killers, okay? So the next one is propylene glycol. So this one is a thick, clear alcohol. What? It helps the skin soak up the moisture and a skin absorbs all the other ingredients in the product. So it helps your product to penetrate your skin deeper, uh, which means you'll get some benefits, but then, then you die of cancer. And why avoid it? Uh, it may interfere with the reproductive health. What? So some skincare actually might prevent you from having babies or have lots of birth defects. So yeah, don't use that. And I'll post all, post all the names of all these bad stuff in the comments below so you can also copy and paste it and um, research it. So the next one is phenoxynethol. <laughs> phenoxynethol. Phenoxythanol. <laughs> one of those, <laughs> and maybe none of those. And it's an oily liquid preservative um, and prevents uh, scents from rapidly evaporating. So it keeps the fragrance in the bottle longer. Uh, maybe it's used in perfumes, perhaps? So Japan already prevented of use of this chemical because once again, it causes cancer and eye irritation. Eye irritation, it's like a random thing. <laughs> you use your hand cream and then your eyes freak out. Uh, so yeah, so that's bad. Some countries are already banning some of that. The next one is Imidazolidinyl urea. <laughs> This is so bad. So this next chemical is used after parabens. Like they're like, ooh, parabens a gun? Let's use this one instead. So they're using this and it's also a preservative so it helps your product not to go bad. Um, and uh, let's see what it causes. 
uh, stress it stresses out your immune system okay nobody wants to have a stressed out immu immune system because then just all kinds of stuff happens <laughs> like your face, face blows up everywhere and you're coughing all the time and then you just all, have all kinds of diseases uh, plus when used with water it can release formaglo oh I don't even want to say it a toxic chemical okay so it's, it'll stress your immune system out and cause all the chemicals that probably will cause cancer eventually. So don't use it. The next one is pegs. They use this chemical to prevent the product from separating. So it's a nice smooth texture so it doesn't look like, you know, separated. It looks pretty so you can buy it. Pegs can be contaminated with 1.4 dioxide. Wine dioxide. Ah, I'm gonna die after this episode saying all this smart words. Certain pegs may also cause hives and eczema and have been linked to kidney toxicity. I'm giving up. I'm not gonna moisturize. I'm just gonna, you know, age 40 years earlier before I was supposed to, but at least I'll be healthy. All right, the last one is petrolatum. I wanna say, they wanna say petroleum, but, but yeah, what it is is a petroleum jelly, but it's a, a proper name is petrolatum. Think. It helps skin retain mo moisture and soft softens the skin's uh, skin and gives the product a shiny, smooth texture. And why is it bad? Because it actually, uh, it's really thick and it prevents your skin from breathing. So it creates a lot of breakouts and uh, the turnaround of your cells kind of slows down because it doesn't know what to do. So it's kind of bad. To finish this video on a good note, there's seven good things for you in the ingredients for skincare. And here they are. Ascorbic acid and it's vitamin C and it helps product from spoiling. And the next one is, ooh, this is a fun one. Gautier Rosepermum Parky. I just butchered every single name. So and what it is is a shea butter and provides easily absorption moisture uh, into your skin and reduces inflammation. And then Sarah Alba is a bee wax, is helping your skin uh, to absorb the product and seal in the moisture so it doesn't, you know, leave you in the middle of the day and you're like, where are you going, moisture? So it keeps it all um, on your face. So the next one is uh, hyaluronic acid as a sugar compound that occurs naturally in skin cells. How do they add that to the bottle? It boosts firmness and combats aging and wrinkles. Yes, to that. Uh, the next one is Panthenol and it's vitamin B5, offers deep penetrating moisture to heal and fortify skin and hair. Additionally, it may help repair skin tissue and fight certain types of uh, dermatitis. The next one is retinol and it's just vitamin A. You probably heard that a lot um, about this product and it boosts long-term hydration. Yay. Uh, and the last one is tocopherol, 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 tacos and ferals. I don't know, it's vitamin E, and I've talked about vitamins many times. Vitamin E may slow the aging process uh, by fighting free radicals and protecting skin against sun damage. It can also help smooth out skin overall. <sighs> so this is uh, my review of all the bad stuff that they put in your skincare. And like I said, I'll put the names of all of it below so you can pronounce it in your own language because I know some of you probably can pronounce those words if you're in school. I haven't been in school in forever, so I forget. Not that I ever knew. I hope it helped you guys and uh, it, it really pays off to just sit in the store and just really study the ingredients as much as you can and just uh, put it on your iPhone, any phone, all the bad stuff that you shouldn't, you know, be using in your skincare. And anytime you go shop, you just look for it. And a lot of times if you buy a really good product, it's gonna be a little more expensive. But just so you know, you can find something that is cheap if you look hard enough. I'm gonna go. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out the playlist below if you missed some of the other episodes. Let me know what else you want me to talk about. And also today's question of the day is what kind of skincare do you use? What brand? Why did you buy it? And uh, also I want to give you a homework. Go pick up your bottles and see if you have any bad stuff. And if you do have some bad stuff in it, let me know in the comments below what it was and then I'll read through and see what, what not to buy for myself in the future. Alright guys, I I love you and I'll see you soon. Stay pretty, don't eat chemicals, don't don't buy chemicals, and I'll see you soon. Mush! Bye!